we'll get a smoothie with plastic lid, plastic cup, plastic straw. We'll use that for like two minutes, five minutes, and then we'll throw it away. And it exists on the planet for thousands of years. So that's not really a very responsible thing to do. starts to break down like that, that's a big problem because it doesn't break down, like it doesn't decompose the way a banana peel would. It just breaks into smaller and smaller pieces and then that becomes a bigger and bigger problem. A lot of things look like food to fish and what's interesting is especially on the west coast of Canada you find a lot of white and blue because they've already ingested the reds and the oranges because that's the same color as plankton. Another concern is that a lot of pollutants are oil-based, so they'll attach itself to a surface of anything that isn't water, basically. So when fish and shorebirds are ingesting that plastic, they're also ingesting potentially very harmful pollutants. At the top of the food chain, you're going to be exposed to the most uh, toxins, basically. So we're at the top. The solution, better waste management. There's only like five countries in the world that contribute to something like 60% of the, the plastic problem in the ocean. And so I think the world needs to work together and help them develop better waste management so that they can kind of seal off those leaks of plastic into the ocean. And then the other thing is reducing the amount of single-use plastics. We're kind of obsessed with like the whole convenience society, um, so it's kind of breaking that habit. But once you break it, like any habit, it's simple.